Okay, like I said, now we're going to start talking about our new vocabulary words for today. Before and after. What do those things mean, and why do they have anything to do with math? They just look like sight words, don't they? As a matter of fact, before is um, one of our spelling words this week, I think. Okay, before and after tell us about a place in time compared to other times. All right, so let's talk about before. Um, I wash my hands before I eat lunch. I brush my teeth after I eat breakfast. When I'm finished eating breakfast, I brush my teeth. Okay, so here's our thing in time. Let's just, um, all right, before breakfast, I wash my hands. Let's turn it into a list. I wash my hands. Then I eat, and then I brush my teeth. So, first I wash my hands, then I eat, last I brush my teeth. So we can say, before I eat, here's eat, before I eat, I wash my hands. After I eat, I brush my teeth. So see, we've kind of got them in a timeline. Okay? Let's think of some other things. Okay? Um, when I get ready to come to school, I have to put on my socks and shoes. What do I put on first? My socks or my shoes? I put on my socks first. I put on my socks before I put on my shoes. Before. I put on my shoes after I put on my socks. So that tells about the order that we do things. All right? Um, children go to kindergarten before they go to first grade. They go to first grade after they've been to kindergarten. Okay? Um, at night when we have supper at my house, we, after we eat, I wash dishes. So before I wash dishes, we eat. After we eat, I wash dishes. So we put things in order. And so that's basically what we're doing today is talking about putting things in a certain order by talking about before or after. This says, Tim goes to school each day. What does he do before he goes to school? All right, now this one is a little tricky because some people eat breakfast at school, but in some places they don't. They eat breakfast before they go to school, and then it says, what does he do after he goes to school? After he goes to school, he does his homework. He eats breakfast before school. He does homework after school. All right, let's see. This says, circle what you do after you wake up. After you wake up, do you go to sleep? Or after you wake up, do you get dressed? All right, after I wake up, I get dressed. Now it says circle what you do before the plant grows. Do you measure the plant or do you plant a seed before it grows? Before it grows, you've got to plant the seed. Okay? Now here you're going to draw some pictures and I'm going to talk to you about these but then I'm going to leave you to have time to do this on your own. Draw what comes before you go to school. Draw a picture of what people do before they go to school. Draw a picture of what comes after you eat lunch. What do you do after you eat lunch? Draw a picture of it. Now down here it says draw the hour hand and the minute hand for each activity. Circle the activity if you do it after seven o'clock in the evening. Do you go to bed at night after seven o'clock? Probably. All right, so um, draw the hour hand and the minute hand for the activity, go to sleep. I go to sleep at nine o'clock. 
So let's do what time I go to sleep, because I'm not there where I can ask you. All right, so I'm going to put the hour hand on the nine. And remember, I stop at the dotted line. I'm going to put the minute hand on the 12. Nine o'clock. Now, is that after seven o'clock? Sure it is. We have seven o'clock, then eight o'clock, and then nine o'clock. So seven o'clock comes before nine o'clock. All right, eat dinner. Well, at my house we call it supper, but we eat dinner at about six o'clock. Okay, so I need to make my time say six o'clock. I put the shorthand on the hour. And draw it down to the dotted line where the six is. And I put the minute hand on the 12, six o'clock. Okay, here you're gonna draw some more pictures. It says make a picture to show something you do after you wake up. See, there he is waking up. The sun's just coming up and he's waking up. Draw a picture of something you do after you wake up. This one says draw a picture to show something you do before you eat lunch. And this one says, make a picture to show something you do before you go to bed. Maybe you take a bath or brush your teeth or watch a show on TV. This one says, draw what comes after. What do you do after you bake cookies? I know what I do. Draw what comes before you brush your teeth. What do you do before you brush your teeth? I know. And then down at the bottom, you're going to add three numbers. Now, remember, uh, you can draw like this one. I would join these two numbers. Three and one make what? Four. And then you have four here plus four. Then you have a double. Four plus four is eight. That's great. So you can choose the two numbers that you add and then add the third one to it. So adding three numbers, that's what we're working on. And then I want you to do 